<laughs> Have you ever been to Indonesia before? Yes, I've been twice. I've been in Bali. Where? Bali, I guess. Before yeah. the iPhone, and then I was in Jakarta last year. Okay, did you enjoy it? Yeah, very much, very much. I would love to go back for and stay for longer. Okay, so Anna, why the name is Anna of the North? Is that a specific reason for that name? I was in um, Australia. I was studying in Australia for a year and everyone just called me Anna from Norway, Anna from the North, Northy, North, you know. So it just uh, kind of became, kind of became a thing where, um, yeah, it was my nickname over there. It was so far oh, south, okay. you know, for me and so far north for them. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah and so just, yeah, and kind of nickname, I guess. Uh, what, what makes you decide to become a musician? And when was that actually? I, I didn't decide, I, I never thought that was possible. I never thought that that, that could be, um, but but it kind of just happened. I, I've always been writing music. I've always been loving creating, but it's just, um, I don't know, Australia for me just opened up like, cause everyone was so, uh, even though you hadn't released a book, you were still an author, even though you hadn't like done a concert, you were a musician, you know what I mean? It's just like people were yeah. so open about their dreams. And I guess that's where I just kind of, well, my dream is to become a musician. So I just said it out loud. And as soon as I said it out loud, it kind of just became a thing. I don't know. It's just, yeah. uh, oh. <laughs> just, I just what said, is the first song? Yeah. Uh, huh? What, what is the first song that you wrote uh, that you remember? Oh, I have no idea what the first song I wrote was, but the first song that I don't know. I have like a SoundCloud, like an old SoundCloud somewhere that is like, look at my crazy dog. <laughs> but still me. cute though. He's trying to eat me. Look, you have a bone here. Bone. This is the Who's bone. her name? <laughs> it's her or his? It's, it's, or a, him. it's a him. Um, okay. Cutie little pie. He needs to go. We need to go out playing after. After. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. No, but uh, I was saying. What, what was was I saying? Um. No, my uh, first. I don't really small. know my first. I don't really know what my first song. Uh, I don't remember. I have a, I have this SoundCloud somewhere. It's locked private now though. But I have like a bunch of songs that are released. Okay. That like they only got like four hundred plays and stuff, and it was like really really bad demos um and um really really bad yeah i don't know but and then i released sway after that and that was like the first first song that was official in a way yeah all right cool yeah. and mostly of your songs is about love right yes uh, i mean like why you choose love as like your team songs i mean mostly I think, but I think that that everything that is a lot is, is that I mean uh, your personal experience <laughs> that no, you but, put it into your songs. Yeah, no, but it's, it's I think generally, like I think my songs more than love. It's about relationships between um, relationships. people, people, and relations. You know, um, and I think also like yeah, I know like I've been sometimes it's like, I'm not going to write about love now, but it's just like, everything is love. Like that is like, that is life. You know, it's all about the ba balance between like love and hate in a way. And I, I guess to our parents, to our brother, like, I, it's like in the end, it's all love. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Because when I, when I heard the lover goes, you know, like shit, I think I need my whiskey. And like, oh my God, this song, you know, like, ah, shit. You're a good writer though. But, yeah. 
That yeah, no, but that is actually not my song. I've it's a Norwegian guy um who um yeah. but yeah, I love that song. It's the, but it's a it's a guy who he's Norwegian and he's called Bendig Boxos Band and they released a song I think back in maybe like 10 years ago or something. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. And and I just found it when I was living in Australia. So this Believe EP that I just released is just like a gathering of songs that has meant like a lot to me. It's like a couple of my own songs, a new song, and two covers. And it's like all this gather a gathering of, like a, a of songs that has meant like a lot to me and has got me to where I am today, both professionally and personally. So it's like a really personal EP in a way. And, and so that is like Mm. every song it might not make sense to the people listening to it but for, for me all the songs that's on there there's a reason for why they are there and uh, to me it makes a lot of sense yeah yeah, yeah that's true that's true and who in, who influenced you to make the music like your music i mean your um, music is like for me it's deep <laughs> I don't I don't really know I think it's um I, it's like I don't really know why I'm I even started writing music it's like it was almost like some kind of instinct because I started when I was really really young and I was singing and I just loved music I just loved using words and, and it, it, there is like this simplicity there why I'm I even started writing music it's like it was almost like some kind of instinct because I started when I was really, really young and I was singing and I just loved music. I just loved using words. And, and it, it, there is like this simplicity there with, I don't know, it's kind of like straightforward, but maybe that's who I am as well. I'm kind of straightforward. I don't like to, to hide, like I'm not a good liar for instance, because I, I, I don't know. I think I'm quite like honest in a way. And, and if I was, gonna play like be an actor or play in a movie I probably couldn't play a role that was too far from who I am and I guess that's with my lyrics and music as well it's kind of like straightforward because it's just me you know and and okay. hiding like words in like deep like you know how what do you call those when you metaphors and stuff like that it's just I don't know it's just yeah why can't you just say it straightforward <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, your song "Lovers," like yeah. it's chosen to be the one of uh, what was the series um, to all the boys, all the boys yeah. I've loved before original yeah. soundtrack, right? Like, uh, would you tell me like how the process? I mean, like how can they choose your song uh, it to was be quite, one of their um, original soundtrack? It's quite amazing because I've never seen anything like that before in my career. And it was, um, it was uh, in 2018, was it? My, like the album was out. It had like, kind of like, you know, had it's like little, the album came out and then it started to like, nothing really happened. And yeah, yeah. On to the next kind of like, okay, now we have to release new, new music, have to keep it going. And then suddenly I don't know where I just like got um, like a message on Instagram and just like finally Anna up not getting the recognition she deserves. And then people started like, um, yeah tweeting and yeah about this movie that lovers was on and then, mm. Mm. and then i just had to watch it and then i watched it and then the next morning like the song is like you know and so it's just like put in this perfect spot in the movie where they're making out for the first time it's just like people really connected with that yeah. song and i've never seen anything like that with my own music so it's like I don't know like how I, they probably heard it and thought it suited it well. I don't know. But and again, it's probably a lot of other songs that they tried for it. So it's a bit of luck as well. But um, so how it happened, I don't really know. But when it happened, it really showed it had a huge effect. So that's cool. So you're happy then? Yeah, I'm really happy. It's like, but it, that's the thing. There's so much good music in the world and talented people everywhere. But 
like how do you get heard you know like how do you get the uh like people to hear yeah. your music and it's yeah. it is it's like not uh <laughs> what is that <laughs> what is name what is name Trudis. he's sad Grow. Five more minutes, five more, or three more minutes. <laughs> but here, no, so, but I guess, um, oh my God, hey. <laughs> uh, no, I guess. Just uh, take him in frame. <laughs> yeah, but he, uh, he's biting a shoe. No, All where, right, then. Where, oh. <laughs> where were we uh he yeah, yeah. Right. no this, this the, 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 the what, where were we i don't remember we were lovers uh, and yes that was a cool thing it da, 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 changed yeah i'm really happy it happened um it really changed uh yeah where i am today so it's good oh that's cool for you okay mm -hmm. one last question yeah. bjork or lordy Okay, Bjork Alert. Um, I actually play Lord. Maybe I supported her in uh, somewhere close to England um, a couple of years ago, and she wrote me this letter. Maybe her because I feel connected to her somehow. Yeah. Okay, and uh, you're not feel connected with Bjork. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I haven't met her yet. <laughs> what? What about you? <laughs> what about you? Lord Me neither. <laughs> yeah, Lord or Bjork? I think I'm gonna choose. Um, I'm gonna choose Bjork. You know. That's good because then it's, it's like for me. 50 50. That's good. Then they're both. Then uh, both are yeah, chosen. It, Lord is um. Is this beautiful? <laughs> yeah, she's, she's awesome. Yeah, uh, they both are really great, but yeah, Bjork is probably more like she's. When did she start? Like in nineties, like she's yes, just like this surreal. epic, epic character that you like. I love all beings of all like artists and stuff from like before internet because it's so yes. much more like exciting because you couldn't connect with them the way we do today. Like I yeah, feel like true, we, we can like say if you're a fan of me, then you can like go on my Instagram and it's like, what's she doing today? Like you can always connect yeah. with me now, but then like Bjork, you just like, she's just like a can't really reach her, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then like long time ago when you come to the concert, like, you have no phone so that's a cool yeah. thing you know yeah not like now yeah, yeah. all right then and uh thanks for your time you too thank you so uh, much good, good luck for your career yeah i hope to um, see you in real life someday when corona yeah i hope to see you too maybe in bali yeah yeah we serve together are, are you in my bali wife, with my daughter um no where are I you live there yeah, yeah, I live. Uh, I'm in Jakarta. Yeah, but yeah. I I lived there for three years. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Well, yeah, yeah definitely. I want to come back. Hey, All okay. right. Before See you, Anna. Thank you so much.